Hi ladies. This is way out of my comfort zone. For so many years, I wouldn't even put my face on Facebook, much less think of even think about doing a video to put on Facebook. But I am so amazed I have to show you this mineral touch liquid foundation made by Yannick. It is amazing. I'm going to show you what good coverage you get. Do you see how red my face is? Now, ladies, this is not sunburn. This is my natural skin pigment color. Why does my face always look red? I don't know. I think it's just in my DNA. Actually, my whole family has this. But I'm going to show you what a good coverage you get from this. Now, for time purposes, I've already applied the Yannique Glorious Face and Eye Primer to my face. Now, this is just something that I like to put under my makeup. It puts a barrier, if you will, between your skin and the foundation, it gives the foundation a longer staying power. It, it's wonderful. But I like for it to let this sit on my face for five minutes before I apply my foundation. Now, I have big pores, as you can see. Maybe you can't see them so well now because after I applied my primer, I tap. While it's still tacky, I tap. I tap that primer. So it hides some of my pores and my wrinkles. Okay. Now, ladies, are you ready to be blown away? Here we go. When you get your foundation, this is what it's going to look like when you take it out of the box. You need to shake it. I mean, shake it. It has to mix. Now this is made with all natural minerals, but shake it, shake it. Okay. It comes with this dropper. You want to empty everything that's in that dropper back into the bottle. Put the lid back on it. Shake it just a little more. Then. I like to apply it with the Yonique Powder Puff Brush. Now, ladies, this brush lasts forever. It does not have to be replaced. This is such a versatile brush. It can be used for multiple, multiple products. But I'm going to show you with the, found, the Liquid Touch Foundation. Okay, your skin may be different than mine. Yours may not need as many drops as I use, but I use five to six drops for my skin, because, for my face, because that is the coverage that I want. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then you just dab, dab, dab. Okay, dab it all over your face. See that? Then, you take your brush, and you buff. You do little swirly motions all over your face. Don't forget to go down your neck. Just a little under your chin. 
because you don't want a harsh line between your chin and your neck. I like to get it up in my hairline just a tad. I mean, not in my hair, but just so there's not going to be, you know, a visible line. Now, ladies, look at the brush. It's dry. No icky makeup left on your brush. You see how dry that is? Because it dries to a powder finish. Now, this stuff, it feels so soft, smooth, and silky on my face. It doesn't even feel like I've got on foundation. Doesn't even feel like it. I, d I like to do this after it sets for a second. I go back and I tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. But again, I do this because I have huge pores. <laughs> Then, I like to use the Mineral Touch. Sorry, ladies, this is my first video. I forgot to tell you what color I was using. The color I chose is Chiffon. But do you see how good the color Chiffon hid that redness in my face? Well, I also like to put the Pressed Powder over my foundation, also in chiffon. Comes in a nice compact with the mirror. It has the sponge, which is separated from your powder with this little plastic thing, so your sponge is not always sitting on your powder. I like to use it with my brush. The same brush I just used the Liquid Touch foundation with. Now here's what I do. I swirl and I tap. And I swirl and I tap. Again, I tap because, ladies face it, I'm getting older. My pores are more visible. I'm getting wrinkles. Oh, well. But I would like to hide them as long as I can. And with this foundation, it is no problem. Then, I want to go down my neck. Like I said earlier, don't want any lines showing. Good. I mean, it, this does not take much at all with the foundation or the powder. Just a little. So this is going to last you a long time. Actually, ladies, this bottle of foundation, I have had this for seven, no, probably seven and a half months. I haven't run out yet. And yes, I wear my makeup every day. Okay, I'm going to move on to just one more product. I'm not going to do eyeshadow right now. I will put the eyeshadow on later, and I will post a picture in the comments. But for now, I'm just going to show you one more product. This is the Beachfront Bronzer. What am I going to do with this bronzer, you may ask? I'm going to contour so that 
I can accent my cheekbones. As you can, you can't really see my cheekbones now, but just wait till I finish doing this. Now this is in the color Malibu. It has a darker side and a lighter shimmery side. I'm going to use the blush brush made by Yannick to do this with. I'm going to get one, two swipes on my brush. You're going to want to come starting from here right down under that cheekbone in one this motion. Look a little too dark. Does that scare you? Hold on. We're going to we're going to blend, blend, baby blend. Just hold on. Okay, again right here. Right under that cheekbone. I like to take just a little and go right there to give me like a natural sun-kissed look. Again, ladies, don't judge me too harshly. First video here. Okay. I like to go along my jawbone. It's slim, it, it actually is very slimming to your neck. And my neck needs all the slimming camouflage it can get. <laughs> Then, I like to take just the tip, the tip of this brush, put just a tad of it on there, and I like to contour the sides of my nose, just to give it a subtle slimming effect, just a little. Just a, a tad bit more right here. Now what that is going to do, once I put my lipstick on, it's going to make my lips look more full. Just a little bit across the, the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to take just one swipe in the lighter color. And come right up above where I did that. I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit. One swipe right up above the darker color. Now, ladies, let's, let's blend that. Back to my powder puff brush, but I'm not picking up more product. I'm, this is just the same brush without any more product on it. We're going to blend up. Blend, swirl, blend. Blend up. I'm going to blend my nose. I'm going to take it where I put it on my jaw. And I'm going to come down with it. What do you think, ladies? I think it's wonderful. I have had such a hard time trying to cover the redness in my face. This stuff is a miracle worker for me and my face feels wonderful I, I don't even feel makeup on my face if you need this i'm going to post a link in the comments send me a message 
asked to join my, my, my group at Louise's VIP group on Facebook. For now, ladies, I'll put on my eyeshadow and I'll post a pi final picture in the comments. Thank you. Bye.